what's up guys now with five mang here doing a video today and that was only 24 seconds of hearing my pipes drain fill up and drain fill up and drain and for my tank it's in the kitchen so that could be very very annoying i don't want to hear anything any water at all in my reef tank uh, the reason why is because when you do hear water in your reef tank that's a bad thing something's overflowing something's leaking and uh, I try to keep my tank silent as possible. So make sure you stick around, watch this video. I'm gonna show you how to make this annoying sound stop. Um, and uh, I'm just gonna use one single drain. I'm gonna have one single drain, which is gonna be my drain on the left. And on the right, the one with the strainer is actually be my emergency drain. What I'm gonna have to do is take this off and remove it and make some uh, minor adjustments since I already know what I'm doing. Now I do want to show you the plumbing that it came with. Um, I kind of knew off in, in the back of my head that this wasn't going to work. This right here is your return uh, and then it splits off into two outlets but as you can see the drains were just standpipes with strainers on them. Uh, that's not going to do anything at all. It's just going to be loud um, and like I said loud is not good so what i'm going to do is make a dorsal standpipe right and i'm going to use some existing pieces that i had laying around the house this gray schedule 80 schedule 80 uh, i got from tim all the white um pipe and everything is one inch schedule 40 okay so what i'm going to do is you can kind of see the dorsal overflow i'm going to have one drain and uh, it's going to be good the standard dorsal overflow is one and one quarter inch. That's the right way to do it, but I'm gonna just use uh, one inch and see if it works. If you don't have it, any of these already, I highly recommend you get some of the vice grip slip pliers. I'm gonna be using one inch. I'm gonna basically cut this down to size so it's very limited. I don't want this thing protruding too much because it, I, I have to make room in my uh, overflow drain. And as you can see, it's just going to slide in there. I'm not going to glue anything. You don't want to glue anything, guys. Um, you don't need to do that for your drain. Um, it's not going to be so much pressure that it's going to be busting out at the seams. So do not glue anything. Just dry fit it and then make your adjustments as necessary. Another great tool to have is a little saw this one cuts pvc wood metal a uh, little jigsaw the brand is black and decker i've been using it several times uh, it saves you a lot of time and um, it's a lot faster after you're done doing the cuts you're going to go ahead and uh, scrape off all the little plastic pvc um, of course be careful and that way you don't miss any fingers you might still need some of those later on really easy to do I'm gonna have a real tight fit and like I said, I'm not gonna glue anything at all. So here's my dorsal standpipe. Basically, I'm just gonna add a little slip right there. I already cut down the uh, main drain down to size and it's just gonna go right on top of that. Uh, that's why it's important. I can't stress it enough to just not glue, do a dry fit. The finishing touch that I'm going to do is I'm going to drill a hole right here on the cap. I'm going to use the smallest hole. Uh, some people stick hoses, but I'm going to go with the smallest hole and then adjust for there. What it's going to do is going to make a full siphon and with a little bit of air that it has coming down, it's going to be quiet. This one is from my uh, glass holes on my 40 breeder. You can see the standpipe and it has a hole right there. And this is the correct dorsal. It's reduced, uh, it's one and one quarter inch, and then it reduced down to a one inch uh, bulkhead. And same design, would have the cap right there on the top and with a little um, hose on it, plastic hose. Uh, sometimes I foresee my little, my cap getting clogged up. Sometimes it'll get clogged up with the salt creep. You just get yourself a spray bottle with some RO water, spray it make that salt creep loose and you're silent again so you can see the different size dorf, um, dorsal overflows and uh, mine's going to be fine one inch 
and uh, we'll go from there, guys. Like I said, it's easier to start off smaller, drill a small hole, make it bigger on later on, and go from there. The caps are, are cheap. If you're going to do this, go ahead and buy yourself one or two caps, uh, a cap extra because you don't want to make a second trip to the store. Um, just make a little tiny hole right there, and that's what's going to create the full siphon. That's You're not going to hear the water rising, and you're not going to hear the water draining. It's just going to be a steady stream. And uh, it works. I've used it in my 120. My 180 actually came with it. This system works for me because I'm not going to be pushing a whole lot of water through my sump. I like to keep a slow and steady uh, sump speed. I like to have my flow primarily through the uh, power heads in the, in the tank. The way that this tank was already set up was called the Herbie. Now the Herbie, you can push more water through your uh, your your tank on your return but um for me and it's better for larger reef tanks but for me i want to do a dorsal because i don't need anything that's a uh, faster flow rate you know it doesn't take up a lot of space and you know what it it works really well for me the other option is a bean animal drain okay um you know the bean animal it takes up a little bit more space. It's three drains. Um, I do have only two drains, and but the bean animal. So there's the bean animal, dorso, and the herbie. You guys go ahead and research that for yourself. But uh, for me, I like the her the uh, dorso. It works really well. Um, I will tell you that with the dorso, you need to have a second hole. That second hole being an emergency for all your reef tanks you need to have at least two two drains in case of an emergency but even with a bean animal you're still going to have your primary drain and on that primary drain you're going to have something to adjust it probably a gate valve because you get more control out of the gate valve then your your secondary drain is going to be a dorsal anyways uh it's just a stand pipe and uh, that's also going to do a full siphon and then you're still going to do an emergency standpipe. So that's three drains. That's why I choose to do the dorso because I'll have one full siphon and then one emergency drain. The emergency drain is a little bit higher than the main drain in case if anything happens. And uh, it works good. Um, like I said, you want to use a bigger uh, dorsal than what I did. I used just a regular one inch. And uh, we're going to fill up this overflow and we're gonna see if this actually worked or not find the thing that works for you the way that you like it you can make it as complicated as you want or as simple as you want um, like anything in reefing you know do your own research I'm just showing you what I'm doing what works for me and uh, you know what dorso works for me really well um, the reason why I like to keep my uh, return pump kind of slow is because it has more contact time in the sump the more contact time you have in the sump, that means the more contact time your skimmer is actually going to have with the water. It's not just going to be rushing through and then hurrying up to get back to your main display. So that's why I like it a little bit slower. And also, the more contact time you have, the you know the longer your chato has on it, whatever macro algae, whatever you know bio brick that you have in your sump at the time, something to consider. And as you can see, it is doing a little bit of gargling. And the way that I'm going to fix that, I'm just going to adjust my uh, valve right here, my ball valve. I'm going to turn, open it up a little bit more, and uh, it should knock out that problem. Because what just happened is I had a little bit too much restricted, so it started going down my emergency drain. Now that I just opened it up, it's going to go ahead and flow a lot more, uh, be more quiet, and go from there for me. Uh, I'm just gonna I like it quiet and most reefers will agree with me on that but I'm interested in seeing what are you guys running herbie dorso bean animal what are you guys running guys and I'm just doing a quick check making sure that none of my bulkheads got loose from taking out the PVC drains and returns because that's what I did earlier I'm uh, just making sure that everything's in place everything's seated and uh, just to check check and check until I'm satisfied and go from there. Everything's going good. Full siphon. 
One thing to keep in mind though, that little hole that I drilled uh, may get covered up with salt creep. If it does, I just get a spray bottle with some RO water, spray the little hole, rinse it out real good, and I'll be good to go again. Just part of the uh, preventive maintenance checks. And as you can see, problem solved, guys. Thanks for watching. You guys have a good one. Make sure you like and subscribe, and well, we'll catch you on the next video.